Hello, and thank you for choosing Revive Node. Today, I'll be teaching you how to upload your own custom world onto our panel. It's relatively simple, but if you are new to it, it may be tricky. So make sure you please watch the entire video before you actually try it out, as some people may skip some steps here, which are crucial for it to fully work. To begin with, we will go into the file manager. Here we have three world folders I will be deleting. Now, you don't have to if you're just uploading this for multiverse, but in this case, I'm going to be completely changing the default world. Again, if you are using this with multiverse, you are not required to do this step at all. But all we're going to do is just delete these world as I'm not going to be using them anymore and I want a new primary world. Once that's deleted, we will add our new one. Now, if you have downloaded a world from Planet Minecraft or any other website, what I highly recommend is double checking if the names match. If they do not match, the world will not work. And to do this, if you're Windows, click Windows key and R and it'll pop up with this box. Here you can type in percent app data percent and then click OK. With that, you can go ahead and click on the dot Minecraft folder, go into your saves and here you have your world. Or if you don't have it and it's downloaded into your desktop, make sure you drag it over into here with the folder. And as you can see, you will see a very large mountain with some smaller ones surrounding it. And overall, it's pretty straightforward in what you see here. This is what we want to upload to the server. For that, I'll actually log out of the world and then we'll go into the single player menu and the world names do match. So you're looking for the first world name and the second, which one of them is going to be the in-game name and the second one's going to be the folder name. However, we recommend not having spaces in your world name. For that, we'll go ahead and click edit and then we'll remove the world part. This could be different for yours. We'll just call it SMP. We can go ahead and click save, but as you can see now, the SMP world does not match. In order to make that match, we'll just go back into our folder and here we can actually rename it by just removing the end part. And now if we just reload this menu, as you can see, the names perfectly match. That's exactly what we need. Now that we have that set up, what we can do is create a zip and here we'll just type in random random names such as world and we'll upload that folder into the zip folder. Then we can go back into our panel and we can upload that zip right into the file manager in the main directory, as you can see here, container, and just give it some time to fully upload. Once we have that zip uploaded, you can see right here world.zip, we can actually right click it and just click on archive. Now that we got that done, you can see SMP. That's great. We have it uploaded to the server. The next thing we have to do is go into the server.properties and then we just have to make sure that the names match. For that, we'll just look for the name world which is in level dash name. And currently it does not match because it's going to be looking for a folder named world. However, ours is SMP. So we'll rename that to SMP. Now that we got that, we can go ahead and click save content. We can start up our server. And once it's fully booted up, we can join and see if everything worked properly. And just like that, I've joined the world and it's the exact same scenario that we set up. So it's working perfectly and just as how we intended to. Again, please make sure you watch the entire video before you attempt it, as some people do skip some crucial steps to making sure it's working properly. But overall, we hope you enjoyed this video and that it explained what you needed to know. Other than that, thank you for choosing Revive Note, and we hope you have an amazing day.